Hi guys and ladies, I stumbled upon a recipe online that uses my favorite cheese as a coating. Pecorino Romano, my mouth watered. I could make this, so I picked up all the ingredients. <laughs> Except, well, you know what, the fish. Let's try to catch a couple. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Once again, we have below freezing temperatures and muddy water. I have fish in the freezer though, so today I only need to catch a fish or two. Let's see if we can do it using this. You see, this is a 1 16th ounce jig with a Z-Man Slim Swims on it. Check the notes below for the details. Right now, let's fish. I'm using this old boat even though I ordered a new one. My neighbor fixed this old one and my new one hasn't arrived yet. Yes, yes, got a fish. Oh, it's a big one. A big one and late catch a big one. Come on. Uh. Ah, I got one, I got one. I can't believe in this muddy water to catch a nice bass like this. Wow. I'm going with a straight worm because I lost the lure. It's in a tree somewhere. Crappie, a big one. Oh, that's a big crappie. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Oh my goodness, that's huge. A big crappie. I'll cook them up. I need a fish for this recipe. Not my favorite tasting fish, but not bad. I got one. I got one. Oh, what's going on with these big bass? Cold weather, big bass. I heard that from Don Winky Doodles. It's true. Look at that. <laughs> She's over 14 inches. I've got to let it go. My rod eyes are clogged with ice, but so is the line. The line has ice on it, and it won't uh, wind right on the reel. It's freezing out here. I need to get in the house. Besides, I caught three fish. That's more than I thought I would catch, and one of them I could use in the recipe, and I have more in the freezer. I can't wait to make this Pecorino Romano coated fish. Here it is the next day. I really didn't have much hope that I could catch fish in that muddy cold water. Yet looky here, I've got almost a half a pound of fish from that big crappie alone. Plus we can use fish that I saved in the freezer. Well, right now, let's make some creamy mashed potatoes. Uh, well, you know I try to do low carb for you. So we'll make mashers, but not with potatoes. What I've got here are the florets from a large head of cauliflower, almost a pound and a half here. And I'm going to microwave these for 15 minutes until I can pierce them easily with a fork. Fresh out of the microwave. Now, I don't know if this is needed or not, 
but I like my cauliflower dry as possible, so I'm blotting it. I'm going to try to dump our cauliflower into the food processor. Oh, gee. I spilled some, but I don't think mice even like cauliflower. Okay. Couple minutes. That was about a minute. Now let me put a half a stick of uh, melted, but not completely melted, softened butter in here and a half a brick of cream cheese. And looky here, we're talking Pecorino Romano today, but you can use Parmesan. Here's a quarter cup of uh, Pecorino Romano. Look, a quarter cup of sharp cheddar cheese. I don't like dull cheese. I'm just adding a half teaspoon of salt. You don't need much, the cheese is salty. Here's a half teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of garlic powder. We are ready to rock and roll. It's been about two minutes. Let me give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. What's not to love? Uh, it's got cheese galore and it's so creamy and pecorino y. Pecorino. Oh, it's so good. You're going to love this. Oh, this is the hardest part. I'm trying to get it out. Oh, so creamy. I've chopped up a few chives, and I'm going to sprinkle them on top. It's time we get on with the fish. I've got non-stick foil here, but I'm going to spray it with olive oil spray anyway. What I have here are Italian breadcrumbs. About three quarters of a cup. Ah, ah, ah. Not just ordinary breadcrumbs, but look. These are low-carb breadcrumbs. I have a half cup of Pecorino Romano. Here's a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Here's about a quarter teaspoon of salt. You don't need much. Let's stir it all up. Oh no, accident. I'm setting the oven to 400. I've got all my fish laid out here. Look at this. The first two are big perch. Then we have bluegill. Then we have some bass that I caught those six, and then look at this, these monster crappie fillets. Now, what I'm going to do is paint them up with Dijon mustard. Yep, time to paint. Let's see how it goes. This reminds me of tarring and feathering. We got our fish all tarred up, and now look, our crumbs. Pecorino Romano. And Italian seasoned low carb breadcrumbs. Let's just pour them on heavy. Pour them on heavy. Looks pretty good. All tarred and feathered. You know, the original recipe I found was for tilapia fillets, and it says to place lemon slices under the fish. But I don't want to do that, because in my mind's eye, that would make the bottom of the fish a bit soggy. Maybe I'm all wrong, but I'll provide lemon wedges to squeeze on the fish after it's Plate it up. Right now, I'm going to spray the top of the fish with olive oil spray. I don't know what this does. We'll find out. I hope it makes it crispier or crunchier at least. I'm going to put our little fishies in the oven now for eight minutes. While our fish is in the oven, I have to tell you, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is about to join me here for dinner tonight. Uh, you know, as uh, you know, she seems reluctant to marry me, even though we've been seeing each other for decades. I need to find out why. If only I could change her mind and make her my wife. It's been eight minutes. Let's see how it went. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see, it does look a bit crunchy on top. I do like that. Maybe I'll taste it. I think I will. Hang on. I've been eating this. The crappie. Crappie are soft fish, kind of mushy. Not my favorite, but oh, look. Mmm, this is wonderful. Wow, you can really taste the pecorino romano. Pecorino romano is good. It's better, I think, than Parmesan. It's goat cheese. It's made from goat milk. It's really, really good. You've got to try this recipe. Please, I insist. 
Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for uh, dining with me here at my troubled, uh, treacherous trailer, <laughs> um, where you sampled my fake mashed potatoes and my pecorino roma. I say pecorino romano because it's fun. Yes. Uh, coated fish. And what did you think of them? Oh, it was all very good. The, uh, the mashed potatoes also known as cauliflower were excellent fake mashed and very potato. very you know creamy rich and rich and creamy and the fish had a nice crispy and delicious coating i it enjoyed did. it it was very crunchy much. on the outside yes, wasn't it yes yeah. it was yeah, and you know and I was, i'm sorry no that's okay i forgot to put them under the broiler no, for I, one I minute i don't think that would have made any and it would have yeah. maybe made them too dry they were perfect oh yes. thank you so much thank you miss cheeks um oh uh don't you think the time has finally come to get that certificate that makes us a real couple. Uh, a marriage certificate is just another name for a work permit. Huh? Oh. Uh, can I have a hug?